All right, here, this is pretty close to the Green Swamp, Central Florida. This is actually Blackwater Creek Preserve near Plant City. A little out of the way, but a very good, one of the best in my opinion, Hillsborough County. Um, little free parks. Um, as you can see here, it's a little bit flooded. You know, it's January. Get some rain sometimes, especially in the summer, man. When the mosquitoes are bad, the heat is bad. That's not the time to be hiking in Florida in most places. But, uh, yeah, I'm really glad they preserved this place in the 90s. Of course, they knew it was important because this connects to Blackwater Creek, a 20 plus mile creek. One of the biggest, if not the biggest, single tributary of the Hillsborough River, Upper Hillsborough River. Um, there's somebody shooting there in the distance on their property, more, more than likely. So I'm really glad. <laughs> I was debating taking off my red jacket, but uh, of course there's an airplane, but you know, this is still relatively undeveloped Florida. Oh yeah, I meant to say, of course you see this flooding. I think we don't need, wow, there's tadpoles in there. We don't need flooding like this. We need to develop over this. Developing over stuff is healthier. Reduce the mosquitoes. Not necessarily. You, you kind of need for a healthy ecosystem. Flood water places like this allow the water, and especially in swamps, but also in wetlands, the water, although this might not settle to the aquifer, having wild areas like this, it allows recharge for the aquifer. That's why the upper Hillsborough River is very, very protected, very much a lot of wilderness. It's even the type of habitat, it's even, uh, there's a special uh, class category because the Tampa area depends on Upper Hillsborough River so much for their water resources. You know, it's very, very protected. As much as I've heard, even stories, developers trying to develop over parks certain parks in the upper hillsborough i'm not sure which they were eyeing and i've even heard in yankee town and i've kayaked around yankee town around the <clears throat> lowermost with lacucci and uh you see it it's unbelievable marshy um salt marsh you're like oh my goodness this still exists why would anybody want to develop over this you know corporate interest um you will care about bottom lines more than nature what can you do except fight against it and uh <clears throat> it's like jim C jim stevenson one of the original people around the year 2000 that um realized the springs were in trouble the freshwater springs especially itchy tuckney up there in the lower santa fe river in north central florida there's a great interview by him um, he, he even said, you know, to stand up for anything environmentally, um, yeah, the, you have to remember the three P's, persistence, passion, and patience. And it's not always easy. I've definitely, this is not the time and place exactly to say where I've stood up for the environment in the, what's it called? against potential toll roads, against potential development and commissioner meetings. But uh, yeah, you have to remember, it's a marathon more than a race. You can't just only stand up for one season. It's better to stand up at least a little bit for the long haul. As much as it sucks, it can really take a toll on your sanity, bend it, but uh, it's worth it. Check places like this. It's not for everybody. So you have to support those where it can help any way you can su support. I've definitely donated to our Santa Fe. It looks like Save, Save the Swanee Inc. has gone under. I guess WWALS is now the Swanee River Keeper, and they mostly care about Live Oak, Upper Swanee. But because uh, you think about it, protecting the tributaries at such as Blackwater Creek, it also protects the Hillsboro because the tributaries directly feed 
are directly int intimately connected to the health of the main river. And that's why people protect this area. Lots and lots of acres. Forever locked away. Away from those pesky, corrupt developers. I didn't mean for this to go overly political, but man, you know, that's what the system does. They try just to politicize things. And it's not always so black and white. Or, I mean, there's always gray areas, but... In some ways, it is kind of black and white. You know, some people I've heard. I know I'm, I'm making this lengthy. <clears throat> and this kind of opens up into more grasslands. Very, very reminiscent of the green swamp. Most people see the green swamp. It seems to be, they only know it as a hunting area. But it's also a very, very important <clears throat> water recharge area. Again, it's the, ha it's the headwaters of the Hillsborough River. Central Florida with the Lacoochee River and the Ocklawaha River and the Peace River, if you include Lake Hancock. <clears throat> um, because there's a creek up there near the Green Swamp that feeds into Lake Hancock. Lake Hancock births the Peace River. So again, not all this flood water is bad. It helps recharge the aquifer. It hosts a lot of wildlife man I should probably make a separate talk about this we think we're separate from nature if lots of people think we're above nature but we are nature we are connected to the food chain and uh, all the natural resources our watershed how the heck did it come to this where we don't even recognize the watershed we're in you know it matters the long-term survival of humanity and other creatures as well. The health of our watersheds, the health of our air. Now I sound like a tree hugger, but it's true. <laughs> Alright, good stuff.